June is the time of year when students finish school, attend prom, and graduate. Palouse Day is no different than the countless other high schools, except the journey to graduation has often taken a different path. The path has not always been straight and definitely not easy for students that have returned to high school after dropping out. So I was so close to graduating, I think I was like in the 11th grade. It took me a couple of tries. I tried Roosevelt Day and it was just not, it was not working for me. I stopped going to school like my 12th grade year. We pulled together a group of high school seniors to talk about their journey and the lessons they have learned. Our students represent various cultural backgrounds and areas in Washington, D.C. You may make the mistake of focusing just on our students' age without understanding the challenges they have faced along the way. And something happened to me, and I couldn't really recover from that. And so, wait, I need a little time. Okay, so, that's all right. Sometimes the story is too difficult to share. Sometimes we don't want to relive the story. But these are the stories that will make and has made these Blue State students some of the bravest, most unique students in the district. I decided that I wanted to go back to school and um, um, then it was not the timing with my daughter and with me working and I, I had to provide first. Um, I wanted to make sure she had what I didn't have. So I thought my priority was to provide and get the money and get, I thought that was the right way to go without really actually knowing that uh, without me having a, a high school diploma, I wasn't going to get anywhere. It's like that. Working to survive is only one obstacle that students have in staying on course. Some of our students get involved in a cycle of drugs and incarceration. According to the Sentencing Project, incarceration has increased 500% over the last 40 years. For Leonard Williams, Baloo's stay is a real opportunity for a second chance. Probably like three months before graduation, I got in trouble with the law mm -hmm. and I went on the run and I just was like, forget school for, for right now. How long were you on the run for? Uh, like three months before they called me. I got caught in the summertime, actually. I don't want to get myself caught up in the system because it's like a revolving door. Once you come back, you're going to keep coming back and keep coming back. So it was like, I had the mask up and I came home like, the son got to give, like, I got to do something. And, it, and it, actually, the day I came home, it was January 31st, 2014, mm -hmm. and I had to go to one of my friends' room. It was, he, was, he was a homie, but he was like a brother, too. He stayed at my house, you know, oh. eat my food, so it was like, I had to come home and deal with that. The same day I came home. It's like, either I'm gonna do something right with my life or I'm gonna follow down this life and go back to jail or wind up dead. And I was like, nah, them, I, I, the two I options gotta, aren't gonna yeah, work for you. Right, I gotta do something. So that's what led me back to coming to school. Our students have many reasons that have motivated them to attend school. But for some of our students, their main reason is to set examples for the children they are raising. Like, like it's embarrassing. It's embarrassing to have a child and you not finish school and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Like and then my daughter, she was in school. I'm in school. I'm like I got her to get out of school. Mm -hmm. Make a good example. Cause I don't want her. I don't want her to go type of go down the road that I went down. Mm -hmm. If you show her, look, I had you, and I did this, and I went to work, and I did this, and I still finished school. She's gonna want to finish school. My sister had got pregnant when we were 20 or 19. Yep, we had just turned 20. So she got pregnant, and I was like, at least you're about to have two boys. You know, I want, to be a, I want them to consider me a role model, at least at one point in their life. Students provide motivation for each other, and even non-teaching staff give daily words of encouragement to help students get through the day. At Baloose Day, we are like family and understand how important it is for everyone to feel like someone is holding them accountable and cares about their future. That's the difference. There's support here. Even from security guards, they're pushing you. Go to class, go to school. Mm -hmm. Dude, you got it. When you walk in that door, sometimes you look all like, oh, I don't know if I can do it. And they tell you, you got it. It's mm -hmm. weird to see it, but yeah. it happens. And that's what you need. Many of our adult students have been in the workforce for years before they decided to return to school so they could have more employment options or earn a higher salary. I always wanted to finish, you know, to get my school diploma, but it just seemed that things kept taking president over. Things mm -hmm. are always getting away. And when I found out that it, the program was online, and because I do work, um, I have um, access to computers on my job, 
to do work online, it, it was more attractive to me and beneficial to me. Many of our graduates will continue their education well after they finish Baloo's day. As I want to establish a bachelor's degree in psychology, so the only way I can get that is to get is be, become a high school graduate. So if you guys could give advice to other friends that are here at Blue State or that will be coming to Blue State, what would it be to get to this point? Always support your friends. Don't judge them based on what they do. And just always be there for them. Push them. Push them to do better. Push them to do better. I have to tell them to stay encouraged. Um, it's going to be work. But the work you have to put into it is the work to better yourself. Mm -hmm. Don't give up. Like, don't. Because if you keep giving up, you're never going to get to where you want to be. And just understand how important, it, like, I cannot stress this, how important education is. Mm -hmm. Because if you don't get an education, if you don't get your high school diploma, then go to college, you're not going to go anywhere. I have so much work experience, it doesn't take me nowhere because I don't have that one piece of paper. So if you want to get out of the hole, of the struggle, if you really want to get out, go to school. It's the only way out. I want to congratulate you guys all on graduating June 2016. Thank you for taking this journey with our 2016 graduates. We wish our graduates continued success in their future education, career, and personal goals. Thank you for choosing Baloo's Day and completing your one of many goals you will accomplish in your life.